Hey everybody, it's Mickey Pinstripe here from the Bourbon and Rye Club. Tonight, we're gonna to be cracking into the new Jack Daniels Barrel Strength Rye that's also a single barrel. Now the version I got is 134 proof and change. It is a 50,000 watt blowtorch. I had a couple of glasses last night and it utterly destroyed my palate. The glass I'm gonna be having tonight has been resting for about 15 minutes, simply because I don't think I could take another glass of this just ripping my tongue apart. Now. When I say that, it doesn't mean that this is bad. It's not, it's actually quite phenomenal already. But this is reminiscent of like Stag Jr., uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Strength, all those really high, high proof whiskeys that just torch your mouth if you're not ready for it. Let's get into it. Let's do a little, little taste here of a rested version of this. This has been resting for a while just to take some of the edge off of it. And let's get to it. Caramelized bananas, lots of char really sweet you can just it smells really sweet it smells like it's going to be really good all right cheers to say this has a long finish is an understatement oh this thing is punchy it's unapologetically strong the website interestingly says that this is really uh, surprisingly smooth. It is not my experience. This is brash. This is rough and tumble. This is old old style hockey. Just something rough and tumble. I get a lot of celery off of this. Interestingly enough, I get all the right flavors though. I get the I get the rice spice. I get the vanilla. I don't get a lot of dill. Although some people could make the argument that the celery. Is probably just a slight uh, hint of that. You get a lot of mint, although the mint's not really up front. It's really on the, the mid to back finish. Oh God, it's good. The Jack Barrel Proof Bourbon has been really, really popular with bourbon drinkers. I think it surprised a lot of people. Those that have tried it just absolutely gush about it and rightfully so, it's, it's remarkably good. This one may have that impact on people, but it also may have the opposite effect. Uh, because this is so strong, if you're not into rye whiskey, this might really turn you off just because it's a flamethrower. Not like the bourbon, which was a little bit of a, a more refined experience than this. Brass Knuckles rye right here. If you're not ready for it, it's going to hurt you. I'm probably going to try this with, a, with an ice cube at some point just to see what it does. Because it's a single barrel and they didn't cut these, uh, they went with whatever proof they came out with. That's cool. I like that. The more moderate or novice rye drinker, they're probably going to find that this is a little too hot. The proof heads may really love it. Um, I think it's really good. I think it'd probably be cut just a little tiny bit. Um, so maybe I'll try some experiments with water just to see where it lands. Uh, but overall, fantastic rye whiskey. I've been waiting for this all year. Super glad to have got it. I will probably pick up another bottle or two just to have backups as it is not necessarily been decided on whether this is an annual release. So cheers, everybody. Good stuff.